Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. When I first started this farm, my dream is really to have an extra income in order for me to buy some of the things that I wanted. And I'm looking at the good business out of the chickens, this fish, although I have this uh, pet store, but I really wanted to breed my own. I mean, I can produce my own fish. And one of my inspirations is to own a big bike and that has been the longing deep within my heart that's why I started this farming but last week I have told you that we had this uh, problem and this problem was the taking of our property by the government for public use and I'm so sad about this one because I just uh, felt that all my dreams to have this uh, big bike and other things that I really wanted to acquire had been shattered because of the setback that we have experienced. And uh, I was telling you about these concerns and I am so happy that you backed me up with you know, your, your positive comments and that God will make a way, that God will open the door for you. And I personally talked to, to God. I said that, why are these things happening? But I received a call, and this call was coming from a good friend of mine. And uh, previous days, I was telling him about my problem and that the dream that I can own the big bike is already shattered. It's not any more possible for me to own a big bike. And, and uh, he just listened to my concerns and worries. And after three days, he called me and he said, if you want to own a big bike, just come to my house because I bought a brand new bike which has higher version than his old bike. And he wanted to dispose the old bike because he don't, doesn't anymore have the space. The garage is already full with these vehicles because he's also an enthusiast. But because of the concerns that I have shared with him, he said that if you really wanted to have this uh, big bike, you can come to my house and lo and behold, I was really surprised to have this one. And he said that he is going to sell to me this bike with a very convenient and reasonable price and on an installment basis because I told him that I don't have any cash or money to purchase the bike. So here is it now actually and I'm so happy with this and I believe in the saying that if, if God closes the door, He opens doors of opportunities and windows of opportunities for us to realize our dream. Three months ago, I showed you the actual breeding of this uh, Japanese quail and I'm so happy because we have started only with uh, 39 eggs. I saw this from my friend who have the small pairs of this quail and I'm so happy because he offered to sell to me the fertile eggs and it something around 39 eggs and we patiently put this in inside the incubator. We hatched this one to become our starters. And also, I went to another place where there are also quails and I bought some 10 eggs and it uh, gives us actually 8, eight chicks of this quail. 
all in all, we had 39 chicks. And we patiently waited for this. And little by little, they grew old and they become layers. And they produce fertile eggs. From then on, that was three months ago, we were able to hatch plenty of the eggs since they have started laying their eggs. And then we patiently collected the eggs, maybe 10, 15 eggs per day. And that was enough. Now, we are producing 300 eggs per day. And we have actually now produced hundreds of jigs. We already have more than 1,000 future layer quails in the incubator and right here at the house of different ages. And my problem was uh, the cages because it rapidly multiplied and the cage that I had will no longer contain the, the hundreds of quails that we have produced. And I just decided to make a major step towards the, the production of the eggs of the quails because I received a call from one of the prominent department store here asking me to supply them with quail eggs. Well, I really was inspired and uh, this is now the major shift of the quail business. I have here a cage and I would like to share this with you because per my experience, this kind of cage is really the most practical, the most convenient, and the most inexpensive because we will only need a small budget because we are doing this on a ladderized type or I mean the layer type. And you will see that we used the wood as our main materials for this and maybe you will ask the dimension. This is the 2x2, two 2x2 two, two two wood and the 2 1x2 two uh, wood. This is a made of mahogany and jimelina. Comparing this to using the steel, well, I can say that this is still the most uh, practical because we can just, uh, you know, transfer them or the cage wherever you wanted to transfer and steel cages could easily be become rusty. That's why uh, I prefer to use the wood instead. And you will see that we have here three layers and the measurement of this is actually right here. We have this... Uh, 36 inches right here, but we only use the uh, 28 inches so that our quail will have enough space. So right here is the egg container. The eggs will just roll and then it will stack over here. We put some stopper right here and we can collect the eggs of the quails. And you will see also that we have this uh, drawer type of this, uh, you know, dung strainer we can collect the dung every day we can just pull the drawer out and then we will scrap the dung of the squill and then we can dispose it so this is not actually done yet as you can see here we still have to do many things in order to complete this one but uh, i would like to share a very important details about this cage because you will see that we use the plastic screen and Maybe you are interested to know the reason why we use this plastic screen. Well, the reason for this is for the eggs to roll down easily. Because if you will use the welded screen, somehow it will stop. That's my experience. The size of this is just one fourth inch square. And this is really very suitable for quail eggs because the eggs will not pass through here. I made it double now. The flooring of this is made of first layer the screen the welded screen and then on top of this is the plastic screen the green uh, plastic screen that are just very available in the market and maybe you're interested how many quails can we put right here I estimated this to contain more than a thousand quails because this one can contain 300 or 350 and then 350 and then 350 all layer quails well uh, this setup is for production of table eggs 
Uh, this is not the setup designed for the breeding because if you will, of course, uh, breed your quail, they need more spacious cage. So the 300 quails will start laying eggs right here. And I'm so happy because yesterday I went to the incubator and I'm really very happy to look at the small chicks of the squails that are hatching. And these are actually the doors that have been open when we consider or we perceive the door closed at the farm because that get, that's going to be taken out from me because of you know the new project of the government for airport purposes and those of you who are not familiar with what I'm talking about right now you can also browse my earlier videos and you will see the reason why I have to close the farm right there so today we are going to finalize the the cage of course i will make a vlog on the actual transfer of of the birds right here one good thing that i can share with you about quail farming is number one you will not need a very big space unlike the poultry of course you need a very big space and it is really very manageable because uh, quails can just you know stay in small cages like this and number two, the market for these quail eggs is really very high because not much people are so much aware of this uh, business, at least here in our community. And I'm telling you about the income of this. Well, by just raising 1,000 quails, you will have a good income, a stable income, and you can sell all your eggs right there on the streets because many people are really uh, learning now to eat quail eggs. Let me share with you the basic tips on how to take care of this quail for commercial purposes. Um, the number one experience that I had is the facility, meaning the place where you're gonna raise your quails. That's very important because the facility, the environment is really very important if you would really intend to produce eggs massively. What I mean is that your place should be not so cold and not so warm. So that's a 50-50 balance. And uh, this one is, of course, uh, shaded because we have here the roofings. But the temperature during the afternoon is very warm. You cannot expose them to a very cold temperature. Of course, if, if it's really very cold, then you need the heater. And you cannot also raise them in a very warm temperature. So the balance of the temperature is really very important. And number two is the kind of feeding. Well, many quail racers have failed in this aspect because if they run short of a particular brand they will immediately shift to another brand which is uh, totally different in terms of nutritional value and in terms of uh, contents nutrient contents i have talked to one of the quail racers here and he was telling me about the problem of the egg production because the egg production is not consistent um, sometimes it lays more than what is expected sometimes it lays less i interviewed him and uh, i asked him what's the kind of feeding well sometimes when he runs short of the quail layers he will resort to the chick booster or the chick starter or sometimes he will also um, resort to the chicken layer pellet and that's not actually the good practice we will maintain one brand and one kind of food and if we will feel that our quail is running short of food, of course we will have a reserve 
of uh, the feeds because if they will go hungry for two, three, four hours, that would really affect the egg production. And number three is the water because the water is really very important. I have always emphasized that for the fowls, since they don't have the sweat glands, they cannot store liquids on their bodies, then they have to be provided with sufficient amount of water. And the number four tip that I can share with you in so far as this quail farming is concerned is to, of course, produce your own incubator because these quails will not sit on their eggs. Maybe in the wild, they will produce naturally. They will make a nest and then, you know, sit on their eggs. But since they are caged, then they will not have this opportunity to practice their characteristics, their behaviors naturally. So you will have your own incubator because some other businessmen will not like to sell you with male quails, the cocks, because they're preserving the cocks in order for the customers not to compete with the business of producing layer quails. You will buy from them only this uh, hen, but no cocks because they don't want to compete with you in the business. So this is it now, this is happening and uh, just uh, this morning we have collected uh, two trays of eggs. This is uh, more than 80 and a little later this day we can collect actually some more and uh, I'm so happy because every day we can collect almost 300 or sometimes it, it uh, reach up to 300 eggs out of the 350 layer quails that are here. Of course, the 50 are already cocks. Just a little trivia, you know, these quails. Don't you know that when I had this uh, quiet time, I always had to ponder many things. I wanted to ponder it in front of my pets and the, the squills and yesterday I hear the cocks you see that uh, I hear the cocks shouting and uh, my interpretation was totally weird because I hear them shouting for Ukraine <laughs> you will see that their crow is seemingly like shouting for Ukraine I don't know but uh, this is just the trivia and uh, things to ponder upon. I'm really very happy of what is happening. Yes, we have so much setbacks and uh, I have so many concerns. I was worried and these worries had been healed because God once more reminded me that He has a million ways to um, prosper us. He has a million ways to fulfill our dreams and not in the way that we expected because I really expected to have a big farm and then produce all these types of animals and I can sell them, I can make market of these eggs and then suddenly I receive a notice that they're going to take the farm and it shattered all my dreams. But God has a very unique way on how to fulfill our dreams and, I'm thanking, and I am thanking Him for this uh, opportunity that I was able to realize to own a big bike and this has been my, my dream in life. Just a little update about our garden here. Well, last time I said that we are going to put some bougainvillea and I already have placed that one. And it looks uh, elegant, don't you think? And uh, right there, down under, is still uh, to be placed in some kind of lug like this, made of cement, it's artificial. I'm so happy with all the, the things that I have done and the success and failures that we have experienced. And one thing that is really very important is to just to keep the faith because God is in control and God has all the ways on how to bless us. I hope guys you're encouraged with this video and if you are not subscribed to this channel, may I humbly ask you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell because we're uploading videos every two days now. And shout out to the new members of this channel and shout out also to the followers and viewers and those ones who back me up with their positive comments. Thank you very much. Only here at Dexter's World.